The encaustic hot air gun comes with five languages of instruction on the box, information, and inside a user guide. Again in five languages with all the basics you need to know. So this is what you get in the box. The gun, a couple of adapters, the guide, the right plugs fitted for your location. And this is the tube that the hot air comes out of. The gun is lightweight, easy to hold. And the adapters are simply a push fit. They allow the air to be forced so it comes out faster. The smallest adapter gives a very strong jet of air. The switch has three positions, off, low and high. Back to low and back to the off position. On the back of the gun you'll find the dial. This dial is for adjusting the heat, turning clockwise to make it hotter, anti-clockwise cooler. And of course you can do this during use, which is quite handy. On the back of the handle is a wire foot that springs out and allows the gun to be positioned upright like this. It can be used safely in the low position like this, but if you put it into the high position you may need to tape the gun into place because the vibration may move it and never leave the hot air gun switched on unattended. On the low setting of air, setting number one, you can see the temperature is quite dull. Put it on to number two and the temperature becomes much, much stronger. Back to number one, cools off, switch it off and it will cool down, but it always takes time, so be careful, the silver part is hot. When you're using it, you can aim the gun and melt wax with it. You can blow the wax around. Push the adapter on to fit it. And now you get stronger jets of air, which means that you can blow the wax more specifically. Put the finest reducer on and the air flows even stronger but don't be tempted to try and do this too hot keep the temperature down only to the level you need if you mount card onto board with tape like this then it's much easier to work the hot air gun on a piece of card when it's flexible it's difficult If you've used the iron to create, for instance, a sky on a larger sheet, you can use the hot air gun to smooth out the colours. There are no contact marks. You can use the hot air gun to blow wax around on the hot plate. Two sources of heat. When you're on the highest temperature, on the low air setting, you can use the gun to melt blocks of wax to soften them so that you can then draw with them. This means that you can draw with semi-molten wax. It allows for build-up of layers and over-colouring of areas. And of course you can fuse onto panels, you can use the gun as your heat source for working on panels, you can blend marks together, you can work on bigger boards where you've painted with brushes to fuse the layers together. The Encaustic Art Hot Air Gun